name is Miguel J. Munoz. I was born in Puerto Rico, as you know, an American. And uh, I came to when I was 16 years, old, 16 years old to New Jersey, and I become a businessman. I was there for 35 years. Then I moved in 2009 because I retired to Puerto Rico. I was there during the Hurricane Maria. It was a disaster. Everybody blamed President Trump. That's not fair. He did everything correctly. The, you know, the Puerto Rican government is the most corrupt government in America. Now, well, let's switch to immigration. As you know, I'm an American. I, I understand that. I just land here and I don't have no problem. Other people, like from Mexico, Central America, even for Europe, South America, they got to go through a lot. But I believe it should be a process. You should come on like this, like the Democrat was encouraging people to come in. Joe Biden was calling Mexican rights against Trump. No, you're supposed to, as a, as a former vice president, Joe Biden is supposed to call Mexican, let's ride with America so we can make America and Mexico great again. I think that will be my advice to Vice President Joe Biden. America and Mexico? Listen, let me tell you something. Right now... I'm not saying it's a bad idea. No, no. I, just, I didn't no, expect no, you to go to there. I'm going to tell you something. Right now, if the Democrat and Republican, and Republicans too, work with President Trump, he will make this corrupt gray again, Mexico, Central America, South America, and the whole world gray again. Uh, so how do you feel about the Venezuelan coup? Okay, let's, okay, good example. Let's take a look at Venezuela. Venezuela, 45 years ago, was the third world economy of the world. Look at now, what socialism do, what these Democrats want to do to this country. That was socialism do. Take a look at Cuba. Back in 1958 or 59 with Castro came in, Cuba was a, bar, a, a paradise. Look at Cuba now. People swim to get here to America. So you must have a high opinion of Bernie Sanders, I'm guessing. No, no, I disagree with all Democrats. I probably will never vote Democrat again. No, sir. Bernie Sanders is a socialism, and I believe he wanted to push communism into this country. It's also going to happen. Now, how do you think uh, it's going to play out uh, in the election as far as the Democrats are concerned? But, but... Who's going to get the nomination? Yeah. Well, right now, if you look, the motivation is Bernie Sanders. He got the motivation. Joe Biden doesn't have it. And I believe maybe Pete Buttigieg probably going to be like the runner off. But I look like Bernie Sanders, the only way the Democrat probably going to steal it from him, like they did in 2016. Let's face it, let's be real. Listen. It's, is Russian in interference real? Well, listen, people keep talking about Russian interference. I don't believe never was a Russian interference. No, sir. He wasn't. He wasn't. He was made off. They want to impeach this president because this president they can figure him, out, figure him out. Remember, this man is a businessman. He created the world's greatest economy on the last 50 years that we ever see. I mean, the stock market hit record low, higher, like almost 30,000 points, never seen before. He put tariffs on China, bring jobs back. People are working. People, sometimes they work in two jobs. Now, if China were to attack, what would we do? What would President Trump do? Well, I'll be honest with you, I don't think China will never attack America. Remember, and especially now, people don't understand. Russia and China and the United States, they're probably never going to go to war face to face because it can be the end of the war. Remember, nuclear weapon. And, but I'd rather have President Trump right there in case someone tried to attack us. He'd be the best leader we can have right there. I believe, listen to me, and I don't want to be rude, I believe in peace, I want to live in peace, I believe uh, we all equal, we all American, or we all live on a, on a global, but if we had to push that button to save Americans, I support President Trump. All right, so let's do scenarios here. You talked about Pete, uh, how do you feel it would play out with Pete versus Trump? Pete Buttigieg? Yeah. Uh, listen, uh, President Trump going to win at least 42 states. It's going to be a line flight no matter who the nominee is. They don't have a strong candidate. They all weak and they getting weaker and weaker and weaker. No, I hear what you're saying, but uh, what I'm asking is how, how do you think it's going to play out in the fake news media? If oh, I will do another example. If it was Bernie versus Trump, how do you feel that would play out? Well, it, it will be a line flight like you. You can go back 
to 1972 with President Richard Nixon defeat George McGovern. He will be a landslide. He will be a landslide. Listen, the best choice that they probably would have, it would be Joe Biden if he would act a little more respectable to America. But when he called Mexican rights against Trump, that killed him right there. And I don't think he's having it. He don't even get the, the support for his um, um, uh, or bus. I, President Obama. Yeah, I guess what I'm asking is, yeah, do you think it's a strategic issue? Is the is the Democratic Party being divided, which will lead them to do that, or is Trump just uh, undefeatable? Uh, okay, Trump is undefeatable. Let me be honest with you. Let me be honest with you. Not even the great Ronald Reagan on today's day would be Donald Trump. Not even John Kennedy will be Donald Trump on today's day. Not even Franklin Delano Roosevelt will be Donald Trump on this day. He's unbeatable. The only way that they can beat him, that's why they keep printing from the southern border a lot of Latinos, so they can register these people to vote. That's the only way. But legally, legally, legal. listen, as a Latino, I talk to a lot of Latinos, and they tell me, even from Mexico, I understand that he's doing the right thing for his country. They understand. So you have a very high opinion of him. What if, uh, <coughs> play along with me here, what if Jesus Christ came back and ran for president? Could President Trump beat him? I'll be honest, respectable, you, you uh, I'm a Catholic. Uh, I believe in God. And uh, I don't want to get into that, but I will tell you this. I believe God sent President Trump to save America because this country was going banana. All the politicians, and I'm going to be honest, listen, on both sides, not only the Democrats, a lot of Republicans like John McCain, like John McCain, and then Mitt Romney, they are traitors. They was getting rich. When we had to work for a living, they was getting rich. That's not fair. You see, that's why they work against him. And it's a lot of more like that. They only support President Trump because they will know. Listen, without President Trump, the Republican Party will never put another person in the White House again. So in other words... Um, it's Trump and America. So Trump would be Jesus. I will not say that, sir, but uh, even that on the past, I have called him the greatest thing ever happened on the world. I, I, I admit it. No, he's not Jesus. But I believe God put him there to save America.